uh, what you did, I don't even know where to begin to say thank you for not only um, uh, doing it with you know me in mind, but all women in, in Whitby and the community in general in mind. Thank you so much for, for everything. Well, it was my pleasure to do it. And So today I am here with Hannah Elkington, right? Did yes. I say that? Hannah Elkington. Uh, thank you, Hannah, so much for making the time to come and, and uh, meet with me today. And you happen to have a little friend in your truck right now. <laughs> she's, she's with the uh, canine unit now. Am I allowed to say that? Yes. Okay. Fine. All right. That's great. So, so we can't take too much of her time today, but um, I wanted to introduce Hannah and thank Hannah uh, for initiating the Take Back the Walk event back in, um, I guess it was August. So maybe instead of me talking, could you, could you share a little bit about that event? What caused you to initiate it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, so after, uh, you know, after what happened to you in the incident, uh, you know, what I found was talking to other officers um, and being out in the community that there were a lot of people who were impacted by it. Um, you know, and just this general sense of, of fear in the community and sort of this unknown and this sort of unsettling feeling. Uh, being an avid runner myself and being out all the time, I didn't want people to have to feel afraid in their community um, or to feel like they couldn't go out and be safe enjoying the things they enjoy doing, like going for walks and spending time with one another. Um, and as you know, during that time, we were all we were sort of in and out of the COVID lockdown. So yeah. there was already that like, you know, that unsettledness and, and uh, the isolation. And so it was hard for yes. people to connect um, and really process what had happened collectively. Uh, and so uh, one day I was actually out on a run and I sort of thought, you know, came up with this idea where I thought, you know, as a community virtually, if, even if we can't all get together and spend time together, you know, we have with Facebook and Instagram, we yes. have these you know, amazing virtual tools where we can mobilize and we can get Absolutely. together um, and collectively come together around something and really say, you know what, this is our community and, you know, something happened here and we need to process it together and we need to go through it together um, and really take back our community and our feeling of safety um, and collectively say, you know, we're here uh, together and, and we're not going to stand for these things happening in our community. Well, it's, it's uh, really fitting that a, a female initiated that um, because as we know, I mean, ge generally speaking, it's, it's females that are more fearful of going out for walks and, and runs alone. Mm -hmm. and, and kind of to, to your point, we shouldn't have to feel afraid. Mm -hmm. and, and going forward, we need to, to uh, take efforts and initiatives to try and uh, prevent women from feeling afraid going for walks. And, and uh, like I was sharing with you earlier, I, I never looked over my shoulder before. I never really worried mm -hmm. um, about, about my own safety in the Whitby community. And what you initiated sent the message that we know that you're afraid, but this is a safe community. Let's work together yeah. to, to reinforce that message. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I mean, uh, as police officers, we can only be in so many places at a time, right? And so, you know, we hope that when people see us in communities and, and driving around that they feel safer, right? They feel that their community is a safer place. But the community also has a responsibility to make sure that their community is a safe place. Um, and as a police service and as police officers, it's our job to help people mobilize and you know take on initiatives and really um, help make their local community as safe as they possibly can and feel like they have the tools to do that. And to your to your to that point, one of the things that I am extremely grateful for uh, to the community is that all the people, ooh, that's cool, <laughs> all the people that had um, cameras on on their garages and um, um, I guess yeah anything in front of their house, because a lot of the camera footage. Um, basically, I, that is what helped, has helped in my case. So uh, to that point, um, I guess my message, I don't know, maybe I don't want to speak on your behalf, but is if you are in a position to get a camera or if you already have a camera, register it with yeah. the police. Absolutely. The cameras are an incredible investigative tool for us um, and just helps with uh, the timeline. So uh, there's actually a lot of police services now that have come up with camera registry. So community members can sign up. They can say, okay, I have cameras here, here, and here on my house, and they cover these angles. 
Um, and so now instead of sending police officers out on foot to go and have to do door knocks on every house, we can look in the registry and say, okay, you know, this is covered by cameras, this is covered by cameras, and very quickly go and gather that evidence and make sure that it's preserved and then use it in our investigation. Wow. Um, so yeah, that was one of the, the big things in the walk as well, was just promoting that to say to people, you know, you have, if you have cameras on your house, register them with us, help us help you. And, um, you know, as a team, we can kind of collectively make our community safer and, and have the best tools available uh, to us to to ensure that safety. Thank you for thank you for uh, doing that and initiating that. And I know I know from what the pictures I've seen of the Take Back the Walk event that it was it was really well supported. Um, and I know um, someone someone recently told me that there was some exercises that were done um, in advance to warm up warm up for it. And and there was a, um, several police officers that went on the walk. Yep. Yeah, so it was actually really exciting because, um, you know, when I first came up with the idea and started planning it, it was just going to be sort of a small group of police officers that were going to go on a walk and just to say, you know, we're out here and, and um, we're visible. And then it kind of took on a mind of its own. And as people started hearing about it, they wanted to participate and put it out on social media. Um, so, you know, there were community groups uh, that kind of mobilized themselves and set up their own meeting places. One community uh, group um, they had t-shirts made, you know, and then they oh. got the kids out and the kids were doing things and, and they were face painting. Like it just sort of became this, this whole event for the community to gather around and, and they went on their walk. And, uh, I know at the local hospitals, uh, they wore t-shirts, you know, and they did walk around the hospital and couldn't go out for awesome. a walk, but they're like, you know what, we'll, we'll do the floors and we'll do the laps and things like that. Um, so it was really exciting to see it kind of take on a mind of its own. Um, and then on the day, of course, we had officers walk from 18 division, um, we walked down Anderson and then back up across and around. So it ended up being about a six kilometer walk. Wow. Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. Which was good. We uh, got our steps in. We got our steps. <laughs> but it was great to be able to talk to people and interact and just have that, uh, that opportunity to really, um, you know, like I said, process it, um, and go through it together and realize, you know, we were, you know, this is something that, you know, it happened to you, but it also had a collective impact yes. on the community. Yes. And, when we can move through those things together, we're, we come out the other side a lot stronger. Um, instead of being fearful and afraid of one another, we end yeah. up realizing we have a lot of allies in our community and, yes. and that we want the best for each other, right? I, I absolutely agree. And, and you know, we're, when we're strangers, we don't often, you know, we don't say hello to everyone on the street yeah. and sometimes we don't even get to know our neighbors. But, mm. but generally speaking, from my experience over the last year, I can unequivocally tell you Whitby is an absolutely mm. outstanding, supportive community and sometimes you just need to look for opportunities to to show support and get involved and uh, what you did I don't even know where to begin to say thank you for not only um, uh, doing it with you know me in mind but all women in in Whitby and the community in general in mind thank you so much for for everything well, it was my pleasure to do it and I'm glad that we were able to meet each I know other we finally and, and get this. to meet and, yeah. <laughs> so on that note I get to go now meet meet your dog <laughs> yeah, <we> yes <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah. thank you so much Hannah yeah absolutely <laughs>